Okay, I'm just going to show you a, uh, an example, an everyday example of um, classical and operant conditioning working with a dog. Um, for people who, or anybody who sort of like, um, thinks, well, what do they mean? You know, what do the terms mean? So I'm going to show you with um, one of my labs. Um, and it's just going to be her response in relation to, I don't have anything in my hands, I'm holding an iPhone now, I'm just, so there's no um, lure or anything, but I'm just going to show in response to um, uh, her thinking that it's dinner time, her response should be, with me saying that, her response should be should, to go and get into her crate, I'll leave her there for a couple of minutes, I'll pretend that I'm preparing a bowl, and I'll walk towards, there's no actual food, and we'll see if we can get Pavlov's salivation for you. It's chewing on a cloth at the minute. Bonnie. Good girl. Should we get your dinner? Okay, so there's what, what you'd call the operant behaviour. Okay, so there's where, in response to something, she thinks, well, if I perform this particular behaviour, I know how it's going to end up for me. So now that she's in, I'm going to get her bowl here, which is an empty bowl, and I'm just basically going to trough around on it. And we should, in just a second, start to see some salivation. There we go, there goes the salivation. I don't know if you saw that, just dripping down the side of the mouth there. There it goes, it goes again. And as you'll see, all we've got is an empty food bowl. Okay, there's nothing nothing else in my hand. The other hand is obviously holding the iPhone, but we're getting close, see if you get this drop. There it goes, down onto the floor. That's what you call classical conditioning. Okay, so the environment, the presentation of, in this case, a, a, an empty food bowl, um, but the environment is triggering a response in the dog over which she has no control. And that response in this case is salivation. So there's Pavlov's dog for you in a nutshell.